Welcome back, everybody. We're back together here with another video. We got some Star Wars news here because I think most of you guys probably already know that um, Disney is going down the path of making a Ray movie, which is really essentially, in my opinion, episode um, 10 of, of uh, Star Wars. They're not going to call it that. Uh, Ray. What do you think of Rey as a character in uh, Star Wars? To me, she is the worst character in the history of Star Wars. She had no character arc whatsoever. She just perfect at everything. I did not like that character whatsoever. And I saw right through The Force Awakens. I knew that this thing was going to fall apart. Well, I can't get into her character because there's no... I mean, she is supposed to play the, you know, um, heroic figure, like the hero figure. Yeah. But, you know, she hasn't gone through, like, the struggle or anything. No it's struggle just, whatsoever. She just all of a sudden knew how to use the force. That ain't the way the force works. And we kind of seen this in a way in uh, other projects as well. This was a bad character here. A very, very bad character. They refused to actually continue the story of Luke. Luke was only in The Force Awakens for like one minute, didn't have any lines. And then he was so disrespected in um, uh, The Last Jedi. And then you only got like, what, five minutes in uh, The Rise of Palpatine. Don't like her character whatsoever. It's like her it's like her character is totally like different where like people can well at least I can get into like the Anakin's character because That's you know the complete arc with him. Yeah, it's like you know, we I mean, I see him as, you know, a little boy like he has like high What's it called? Quarantine? Uh, midi-chlorians. Yeah, yeah midi-chlorians. And like... He's the chosen one. Yeah. But her, it's like in the beginning, it seems like she's just a regular person and then suddenly she has the power. She, she just became all so important out of nowhere. She knew how to draw, how to fly the Millennium Falcon. Uh, she knew how to fight with lightsabers. She beats Kylo Ren, who had been training his whole life. And he has the lineage, lineage of Skywalkers. It made absolutely no sense. Yeah, and then later she's the Palpatine granddaughter. Yeah, that was not a part of the plan. So. I mean, they just there was so much damage done from um the last uh, Jedi that they just had to scramble stuff together. Yeah, and the thing is, she killed Palpatine. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, yeah. Anakin, it undermined what um happened in um Return of the Jedi when Anakin in a Vader suit killed Palpatine and fulfilled. The prophecy of bringing a balance back to the force completely undid it. But anyway, her new movie here, Daisy Ridley, says upcoming race centric Star Wars film has a story that's, quote, really worth telling, worth exploring. Uh, not to me. For one thing, they don't even have a um, an actual movie director directing this thing. Uh, the woman here. That you can see right here on the right. Uh, Shermin Ben Chinoy has never made a movie. She's made uh, like documentaries and stuff like that. And she's an activist. That is the only reason why she's gotten this uh, job to make this movie. Because she's a so-called person of color and she is a woke activist. That's the only reason why. And to me, this thing is going to be dead. Don't you think that, okay... Disney Star Wars is like a big, you know, a big film because like Disney is around the world and people know Star Wars. I mean, well, should, Solo lost a whole bunch of money. I know, but should they like reconsider hire someone that has experience of no, you know, the story and stuff like no, that? No, of course not. Look, look they hired um. They're doing that Acolyte uh, TV show with another woke activist that happens to be a, um, a lesbian, Leslie Hedlund, Harvey Weinstein's uh, former assistant. She's making that show, and that show seems to be pretty woke from everything that uh, we have seen. But this is uh, what um, 
what Daisy Ridley um, had to say. Now, I believe they announced this back. Uh, was it last year at Star Wars Celebration? I think so. Or last one. Uh, it says here, I really recall the basic uh, courses when I was at uh, Sundance. I did not know. I shot my first movie, um, Mad Pie, when I when I got back and I had a uh, breakfast with uh, Kathleen Kennedy and I thought it was just uh, breakfast. And then it was mentioned. So I thought about it. I love the story. And I was like, OK, things didn't happen quite quickly. And it felt like I was instantaneously on stage being introduced by uh, director Charmaine Obin Chinoy. The actress continued. It honestly took me back to being 20 or 21, how old I was when uh, Star Wars Force Awakens was announced. I was petrified. I was overwhelmed. I was really nervous, but the response was really wonderful. And I'm gen genuinely uh, really excited about the next one. Uh, to this end, really concluded her time with uh, with uh, with David's, David's by turning uh, to the film's plot itself, ultimately teasing, I haven't read anything, but I know the story. It's really worth telling, worth exploring, and I think people will be excited. I don't think people are going to be excited. I mean, what is there to be excited about when it comes to Ray? She had no story arc. And this movie is supposed to take place um, like 15 years later. So it's probably going to be something like her rebuilding the Jedi, which Luke should have did. But oh, no, can't let Luke do that. We got to... um. Make Ray do everything. I don't think people are going to be excited for this. I mean, I think for me, I think it'd be OK if, you know, I see her like, you know. If they show like when she was young and like, you know, the on Star Wars, like before, like. They show like Anakin when he was young and like his background and stuff. But on Ray, there's real no background that I can. F well, she was dropped off on um, Jakku by her clone father and that was it. Yeah, and, but I but don't she, feel. But there was, there's really nothing to her at all. I mean, I don't feel the, the sympathy or empathy or like. You know, that I can identify with. Yeah, like you know? I said, nobody cares about Ray. Nobody identifies with Ray. Yeah, and the love story between her and... Finn, that got killed off pretty fast. Because I was thinking that, well, maybe they would actually have something. But that got completely uh, wiped out when um, it came to Last Jedi. Because uh, they... They put kind of Rose Tico and Finn, but then that kind of died out too. I don't know if um, yeah. Finn is going to be in this as all. Well. Um, Join Boyega actually pretty much was kind of like, I'm done with Star Wars. He didn't want to have nothing to do with it after what they did to his character. Because if you remember, when the Force Awakens uh, trailer came out, they were making it seem like he was going to be the star. Mm -hmm. You know, Stormtrooper, you know, that ends up um, having the Force because when. Um, the trailer first came out. It actually showed him using a lightsaber. Mm -hmm. They didn't really show much of Ray. I don't. I don't remember. But they just pushed him to the side. They made him a bumbling idiot that just screamed Ray all the time. Yeah, and like the Kaloran, he was in love with her, and no, they weren't in love. No, no, they were. They weren't in love. Oh, I thought they were. No, that was there was no indication. They did that dumb kiss and um. The rise of Palpatine, it was dumb and stupid just well, to please, just to ple please our Raylos. But one of the movie that like, he died instead of her, that was. Yeah, kind that, of, that was the last movie. Yeah, that was kind of emotion. But no, it was dumb and stupid. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying the I compare her love interest, love interest and the love interest between like. The love one. relationship between Anakin and Padme is oh, that, totally that, different. Oh, yeah, it's not even the same. There was no love relationship at all with Ray. There was nothing with her. I mean, nothing at all. The whole Kylo Ren thing, that kiss was so awful. And she died. Why in the world would he give up his life to bring her back? Like it was it was dumb. That whole movie was a complete mess. 
But that's all I got on this here. Um, the Ray Palpatine movie or whatever it's going to be called is going to be uh, coming out. I don't know what she means by a really worth telling. Um, it tells me nothing when you have a woke activist on director, the Ray character. We already know how much of a dumpster fire that character is. And the sequel trilogy, man, it's just a complete dumpster fire. I don't think there's any interest whatsoever in this movie, but I think that's going to wrap it up right there, guys. Um, we'll be back on uh, Monday with another video. Until then, be safe. Goodbye.